Risotto asparagi e pancetta. Guys, I hope you're hungry. I hope you're hungry because today we're going to make one of my favorite risotto is risotto with pancetta and asparagus. And I know everything with pancetta tastes better and this is why we're going to have it in this dish. So for the ingredients we have carnaroli rice and carnaroli is the king of rice. It's amazing for risotto and it's the one that you really should try to use for risotto. So don't get basmati or other stuff, carnaroli or if you can find carnaroli, arborio. The reason why carnaroli is so good is because it always maintains the al dente, you know, that kind of bitiness, even when you cook it for a long time with stock, it doesn't become all sticky and disgusting, so make sure you buy that one. We're then gonna have asparagus. I like the state asparagus, butter, some shallots, parmigiano, some lovely pancetta, salt and pepper, and my favorite, olive oil from Pasto della Palomba. When making risotto, there is a little hack that can be used, and I've used it in my previous video when I made risotto with mushroom. I'm gonna put a link uh, both up there and in the description so you can click on it but today we're going to do the traditional recipe where we're going to use vegetable stock and add it slowly to make the risotto in fact as part of the ingredients there is also the vegetables that are over here here's a simple vegetable stock that we started cooking it needs to cook about half an hour before it's ready for the risotto and typically you add some carrots some celery some onions then you can add anything else you want like parmigiano rind i added there a little bit of suede you can put, uh, you know, any kind of vegetable you like that you got left over. Just put it in the stock, let it simmer for 30 minutes and then it's ready for the risotto. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, not too much because the pancetta already has quite a bit of fat and this is what we want to render. And we're going to be using one saucepan throughout the recipe because we want a build up of flavor. For the prep, we take away the bottom. You can add this to the stock while it's cooking, why not? And what we want to do is cut it into little cylinders nice and thin so that they can cook quickly in our pan. When you get to the stems, you leave the stems alone. We're going to use them in a slightly different way. These things, we just put them aside. When you're using these little asparagus, the tips, you can just leave them as they are. If you use the bigger, thicker asparagus, then you can go ahead and cut the tips by half. But you don't really need to in this case. So these ones, unless they're a bit bigger, we're just going to leave them as they are. Quick turn every so often, but slow heat on this one. Our shallots, you just want to finely dice them and we're gonna cook this together with the asparagus. Once you got this nice and crunchy, we get to take them out. And the reason why we use the same pot is because we wanna use all this great flavor that it's in there. Our shallots, go ahead. Touch of extra virgin olive oil. After two minutes, we add our stems. Medium heat. And we get them to flavor up with the shallot and the reminiscence of the pancetta. After two minutes, we add the tips. The tips are more delicate, so they don't take quite as much to cook, so you can add them a little bit later. Tiny splash of broth. Pinch of salt. And these have been cooking here for about four or five minutes. And they are beginning to soften. And now we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes and then we take them out. You want them to maintain a good amount of bite. You don't wanna overcook them. We're gonna add them towards the end. So they're gonna finish off with this extra two minutes at the end. So you wanna take them out from here when they still have a little bit of a good bite. These are now ready. Still same pot, extra virgin olive oil. And we gotta toast the rice. To toast the rice, keep mixing it. And this is different than when you use basmati rice that you have to wash it. This rice doesn't need to be washed but it needs to be toasted. After about four minutes, and you see that the edge of the grain is translucent, we add a little stock. Now I've separated most of the tips and half of this, we're gonna blend it. We're gonna add to it a little bit of broth, extra virgin olive oil, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and we blend it until it's smooth. And as it dries, you keep adding a ladle of the stock, which importantly, I forgot to mention before, we did salt the stock. So the salt for risotto comes from the salty stock. Halfway, and we add our cream. And when we mix it, it's gonna take this great green color. 
And when it's ready, we add our butter, our parmigiano, and we start the mantecatura. We're gonna add the rest of the asparagus, some of the pancetta. You then whack it at the bottom, and you flatten it out. Our asparagus head. And then we finish off with our leftover pancetta. There's never enough pancetta. That's a key rule in cooking. We finish off with a swirl of extra virgin olive oil, and that's us done. And this is smelling amazing, and I'm sure it's gonna taste great. I'm just gonna add a little bit more parmigiana at the top. Just, just a little bit, and then let's try it. Getting everything, getting pancetta, getting parmigiano. Mm. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna go for a second. Actually, I'm gonna finish it. Hope you like it. Buon appetito.